Well, welcome back, gang, to Chapter 3, Adjusting Accounts for Financial Statements. We're taking a look now at an alternate version of Exercise 3-7. It says, use the following adjusted trial balance of Wilson Trucking Company to prepare the income statement and the statement of earnings, retained earnings, for December 31st, 2016. So this is the trial balance after they've made all their necessary entries to adjust things for the period. Retained earnings was 125 at December 31st last year. So we pretty much have all the information in this adjusted trial balance just to pull right into each of the financial statements. You can see the last section here, trucking fees earned, depreciation expense, salaries, office supplies, repair expense. That's all just the income statement. So we're simply going to take this information here and just dump it right over here into the income statement. So take over trucking fees earned first. That's the $68,000. we have got that now. Move on down to our expenses. The first is depreciation expense for 10 grand. Then salaries expense for 20,000. Then office supplies expense for 5,000. Then repair expense for the trucks of 8,000. We're going to total these all up. They total to 43,000, 10 plus 20 is 30, plus 8 is 35, plus, plus 5 is 35, plus 8 is 43. Now we're going to just going to complete the rest of the income statement like we learned back in way back in chapter 1. Revenues minus expenses is going to give us net income, net loss if expenses exceed revenues, but here revenues are greater than expenses, so we've got net income of 68,000 minus 43,000, which is 25,000. Hopefully that's pretty straightforward. Let's put together the statement of retained earnings next. So from the statement of retained earnings, we're going to look at what beginning retained earnings were, add to that net income, subtract out any dividends, and what should be left is the ending retained earnings. So again, beginning retained earnings, plus or minus net income or loss, minus dividends equals ending retained earnings. Okay, so let's enter the information. Retained earnings from last year, that's given. That's 125000 Add to it what? Net income, or subtract out net loss if there was one, but we're going to add net income of 25000 That gives us then a subtotal of 150000 What are we going to subtract out next? Dividends, correct. So dividends come out of 12000 and that gives us our ending retained earnings for the year of 138000 Okay? Hopefully you found that one pretty